Hello viewers, this is Heirot Linea. Welcome back to my playthrough of Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. Previously, we gave Lock, Shock, and Barrel a spanking in the evil playroom at Oogie's Manor. We also tripped a switch up here, so now we can make our way down to Oogie Boogie's lair. Big and bright. Anyway, down here. We can go in here and collect a treasure chest. Dalmatians 40, 41, and 42. Where are you, enemies? Anyway, we're up to 60 puppies. More gargoyles. Now that cage to Sora's left would have been higher before we triggered that switch in the playroom. Now it is low and easy to get to. The chest contains a Mega Ether. So, let's continue down. Blast of White Knights. We want to jump off to the left here. And more gargoyles. Now, we want to try to land inside that cage that's below us. There we go. Here is a chest with a piece of Oracalcum. Now, we can go through this doorway. It'll take us down a ways. At the torture chamber. See ya. Fire. Fire. Take that, enemy. Fire. Okay. Now we can go through the door to the torture chamber. First, I'll provision my party with items to heal themselves. And I'll use a cottage to heal us up. Now on we go. Oogie Boogie, give me back the heart. Wanted? 
Well then, come on over and get it! Now, let's see if I can get their attention! Oh, hi, boys! This is it? Nobody disrespects me! Oh, knocked the rod hand from Muggy. Anyway, we're thrust down onto this wheel of misfortune. Oogie will throw exploding dice. We've got some gargoyles to take care of at the moment. Now these glowing buttons will take a wedge of the wheel up to the level where Oogie is. However, you have to choose the wedge close to Oogie. Alright, you big bag of bugs. Back down on the wheel. Looks like he'll just throw his exploding dice this time. Now some I some of his dice will leave Heartless behind. Alright, Oogie, where are you? Show yourself, you big bag of bugs. There you are. Gotcha, Oogie. More of his blasting dice. Alright, you gargoyle. Hold still. Now to smack Oogie aground again. Oh, I almost finished him off. Ah, uh, here it comes. Those deadly scythes. Finish him off, team. And we got some levels. Donald got an extra item slot, and Goofy learned an ability. Very gross, Oogie Boogie. Oh, there is that heart. So, that heart was a failure after all. And we got a holy circlet. And Ansem's Report 7. Uh, 
Uh oh. What's going on? How did he get so big? Look, it's brimming with the power of darkness. Oogie Boogie is drawing power from those dark globs. So we just have to destroy those things, right? Yep. Now we've got to destroy the shadow globs on the manor, or Oogie, whatever it is. First, let's head over here to Oogie's right hand side, climb up this ramp. And here's our first shadow glob. That one is down. Next, I want to avoid that fire if possible. Try to hop up onto this leg. And head over to the right. up these steps we'll find our next glob. Well, that takes care of that one. Now let's climb up this way. Our next shadow glob is over here to the left. Then we want to head around to the right. Now Heartless will start appearing. That takes care of another Shadow Glob. Next blob, right in plain view. Be careful, we're just under Oogie's mouth. He's going to spit out those things which sap our health. And here's our next shadow blob. That one is taken out. Fire! Fire! Donald levels up and gets more AP. Now let's keep going. Yeah. This walkway is wobbly. Or Oogie is wobbling it. We'll go up and find our last shadow glob. And that should do it. Everyone gets a level after that. Thanks to our EXP ring from Hundred Acre Wood. Are you feeling a bit poorly, Oogie?
Ah, oh, there's our keyhole. Attained the power of the stars. Gravity has been upgraded to Gravira. Sally, why didn't I listen to you? Don't feel bad, Jack. We'll come up with another plan for Halloween. Next time, we'll do it together. I guess we have no choice. We'll have to cancel the Heartless Halloween Festival for now. That's a good idea. Here, I want you to have this. And this is the pumpkin head keychain. Vid us, visit us anytime, Sora. Next year's Halloween will be the scariest ever. Emotion? Memory? We put in all the necessary ingredients. What else do you need to make a heart? What is a heart anyway? I can't figure it out. Hi, Sora. Care to join me for a stroll around Halloween Town? Well, sure. Great! Let's go, then. Yep, we can put Jack in again. Jack is still talking about the Heartless Halloween. Uh-oh. He still seems set on doing it. My artificial heart should have been a huge success. But it was a huge failure. I can't figure out what went wrong. Oh, there's still a thing or two we can get here in Halloween Town. Let's head out to Guillotine Square. For now, the Heartless will no longer be pestering us. We'll head through the graveyard. And go through this grave again to the Boneyard. Then take this grave to Moonlight Hill. We'll get the hill to uncurl so we can get to the bridge area. Then we'll head to the manor ruins. Not much left of it anymore. Now there is a recess here. It's hard to see in the ground. There's not much to it, though. Now, the Red Trinity that used to be inside the manor is now here. So if we trigger this, it'll knock a treasure chest off that arch. And we can get a Mithril Shard. Thank you very much, Square Enix. We're up to five Trinity Charges of six. Well, this will take us back to the bridge, down in the waterway. 
from here, we can take this exit back to the guillotine square. However, it's a one-way trip. Back through the guillotine gate. We'll be back at the save point. Halloween Town's quiet with Oogie Boogie gone. So we're gonna shake it up. Quiet is boring. I'm not doing anything bad. Not now, anyway. I'm keeping an eye on Lock and Barrel. Actually, I don't like pulling pranks. But I don't want to be left out either. And don't jump off a cliff with them. You'd better keep an eye on those three rascals. They may pull a prank the second you look away. Well, you have two faces, so that shouldn't be a problem for you. Well, my pals used the items I gave them. Now let's review the journal entries. We'll look at Hundred Acre Wood. We were whisked away to the Hundred Acre Wood through a book in Merlin's house. We met Winnie the Pooh, but his friends had vanished because some of the book's pages had been torn out. Sora collected all the scattered pages and brought Pooh and his friends back together. A happy ending. Now for Halloween Town. Crazy Jack was working with Dr. Finkelstein to create a heart to control the heartless for the Halloween festival. However, Oogie Boogie used those local urchins to steal the heart. Yep, Oogie Boogie was not able to control the Heartless with that heart. But Oogie turned into a giant monster, fusing with his manor. When we beat him, he and his manor both disappeared, and Sora, def Sora sealed the keyhole. Now we have Ansem's Report 7. I am now studying material from the meteors that rained down that fateful night. What a find! The material is foreign to our world. It is elastic to the touch, and when two pieces are combined, they bond easily. None of the records I've scoured even mention such a substance. Was it introduced to this world when I opened that door? I wonder how many other such materials drift through the atmosphere of this tiny world. I wish I could soar off and find out. Could there be uncharted worlds up there? My curiosity never ceases to grow, but I should stop speaking of such unrealistic dreams. For now, there is no way to venture outside this world. My people and I are all but prisoners of this tiny place. Under Characters, Characters 2, we should now have the gang from Halloween Town including Jack Skellington. He loves to scare the blank out of people. He scared up some fun in Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas in 1993. Certainly a tall, slender fellow. Now for his friend Sally, a creation of Dr. Finkelstein. She tries to steer Jack in the right direction, though it almost never works. Now for Oogie Boogie, 
the villain who tried to take over Halloween Town. Big bag of bugs. Unfortunately, I don't think that will be the end of him. Now for Dr. Finkelstein, the mad scientist who tried to create a heart to help Jack control the heartless dancing. bit creepy that he can open up his head and scratch his brain. Anyway, this is Zero, Jack's ghost dog. Just a ghostly little hound. Now for the local urchins, Locke. Apparently he fancies himself the ringleader of the trio. There he is, dancing around in his devil mask. Now oh, for Shock. Shock is the most cunning member of the trio. She keeps her cool when the other two are losing it. And Barrel. He's a little slow and often ends up as the butt of his partner's pranks and practical jokes. Yes, that seems evident. And the two-faced mayor of Halloween Town. He switches from his happy face to his sad face, depending on his mood, which changes constantly. He's only an elected official. And that is one tall top hat. Well, that's it for the characters. Now for the Heartless. Got the White Knight. Who, white Knights have jerky dance-like attacks. But hard to pin them down sometimes also. Oh, I see the Heartless crest right in the middle of its slender chest. And gargoyles, winged heartless that mostly appear in Halloween Town. Creepy little things. And I guess that's it. And we're up to 60 Dalmatian puppies. Almost through with most of the Trinities we've got also. 
All right, Chipper, beam us up. We got the Pumpkin Prince trophy. Just one more world left on this ring. And Sora is now up to level 38. Thanks in part to that EXP ring that we got when we completed the 100 Acre Wood. You know, that ring is now the prize for completing Pooh's Muddy Path. Donald is now at level 37. And the Goof is at level 40. And it looks like he learned MP Rage during the battles. that recovers MP whenever you get hit. Now the second wind helps you restore from KO status quickly. Now that second chance will be pretty useful for Sora later on. Particularly during some matches at Olympus Coliseum. So, in the next episode, we will continue our adventures. This is Hair Altlinia. I would like to thank you for watching, and I will see you again next time.